like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment. Without further ado, Hyperdelic. Hey kids, it's Hyperdelic. I'm excited. I just saw these. I've been I've been hoping they were gonna drop soon. Today we've got Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutations, Mix and Match Michelangelo and Leonardo. Now originally I was just gonna do one, but they're mix and match. So I figured I gotta do at least two per review. I'm gonna do these two together, and then I'm gonna do Donnie and Raph together. So yeah, I mean, these things are cool looking. Um, I'm not so sure about how I feel about the the mutation or the the weird you know mix and match stuff, but I mean I know that a lot of people love you know being able to create different you know action figures. So uh, we're gonna play around with them and see how this works. Uh, it looks like we've got a few of them here. We've got Metalhead down here. We've got Splinter. Uh, Bishop in the mech? I don't know what that's about. I guess we'll find out in that cartoon that's going to be coming out. Uh, Mechazoid, right there. Each sold separately. And then, of course, you know, the brothers. Uh, they are a little different from the Mutant Mayhem uh, figures. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm glad that we've got some, some different stuff. Uh, same card back, too. <laughs> that's funny. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, without further ado, let's tear into these guys. Check them out. There's the boys. Well, two of them at least. Center this. We'll get them spinning. So that you can see what they look like. Um, they're not bad. I like the uh, I like the body colors uh, a little bit better than the uh, Mutant Mayhem ones. But I think I like I think I like the sculpts of the Mutant Mayhem figures better. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to make a determination yet, but uh, yeah. So there are a butt ton of, of accessories that come with both of these guys, okay? Each of them comes with a swappable head. There's that one. And then I'm going to say, yeah, Mikey comes with this one. Danny comes with it, or Leo comes with this one, right? So, I mean, you can swap them out, pop the head off. <laughs> right? Okay, so there's Leo. Uh, what else does Leo come with? He's got his um, <clears throat> he's got his uh, sheath for his swords, and of course he does come with his swords. So these are for Leo. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I'm doing that right. No, no. let's see. Square peg. It's not square, but it does have a flat edge on it, and I I, I somehow got it right just sheerly by luck. So, all right. And then, what else do we got here? Well, uh, Leo comes with a rat arm. Uh, you know, don't use the word that way. <laughs> so we're gonna give him Splinter's arm. Right, because, you know, we should. Might as well. <laughs> um, and then, <clears throat> He comes with a bunch of weapons, and three slots in the front for those. I'll put this back here. This one here. That's gonna be tough. I'll put the handle down so I can grab it. Okay. <laughs> We'll put, we'll put one of his throwing stars in back. Because, I mean, they got spots for, like, everything. So, I mean, that's pretty that's pretty good. It's cool. It's dope. It's tight. Tucka, tucka, tucka. Uh... <laughs> All right. And then he comes with this one, this one too. All right. All right. So... <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's ridiculous. There is a lot going on here. And I don't, I'm not sure about these, uh, the sculpts or the design. Uh, I got to assume that they match the, uh, they match the, um, the new cartoon coming. That kind of, I guess, continues off of Mutant Mayhem. All right, so that was, <laughs> that was Leo. Let's swap out Mikey's head. Uh, the weapons and stuff look like they're 
something you can maybe use with the Mutant Mayhem figures. <laughs> this one he comes with a robot leg and the robot head, right? So that's that's good stuff. Okay, <laughs> he comes with this this weird mace. So we'll deck him out with this thing up here on the side. All right, and then he's got Mikey has a bunch of throwing stars. Weird frisbee looking throwing stars. But I mean, hey, I don't care. It's fine. It works. It's a, it's a cool little uh, weapon. <laughs> Get my camera. <laughs> so, and then he comes with his iconic nunchucks, right? So, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that. <laughs> here, we'll put all the spare parts on up here. All right. So they are fully loaded out. <laughs> And I gotta say, they're kind of ridiculous. I mean, they're fun. Uh, these seem like they are a very fun toy to get for uh, a kid that's about, you know, I would say 12, 13, 11 ish, nine, you know, in that age range. Uh, I think it's like, what they say? Uh, does it even have an age range on the box? It doesn't. There is no age range. It's for everybody. <laughs> Ah, it's not for children under three years. There we go. All right, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them back together in their normal looks, and uh, we'll take a closer look at their sculpts. All right, let's do that. Now. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna look at Leo. Uh, now, if you really liked the Mutant Mayhem figures, uh, these are similar. Okay, they're similar. I'm not gonna lie to you. These are not exactly the same. And uh, I'm also going to tell you this much. They are very limited articulation-wise, okay? Uh, starting with the head, you've got some decent articulation in the head, but, you know, you see that you, you've got that gap there. Now, there are plenty of other figure lines that do removable heads without it looking jank like that, <laughs> right? I'm just going to call it out. Like, that looks jank, right? You don't need that little peg down there showing or the head the way that it is. I mean, there are so many different ways that these heads could have been done. Did they do this to make them universal? Looks like it. Which is one of the first drawbacks of this figure. The next drawback, and this might be a, a game, you know, a, a game breaker for people, you know, a, a deal breaker for a lot. Uh, they are super limited articulation. This arm is all one piece. There is no break in that articulation. The only articulation you get is right there at the shoulder. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, Motu can do multiple points of articulation and removable. Granted, they don't do it at a $10 price point, you know, USD, but, uh, you know, I mean, things could have been done, Playmates. Things could have been done. Uh, the legs, okay, so the figures stand well enough, right? They have an action-y-ish pose. It's not too overpronounced, but it's not, like, basic, like good old Kenner first-generation Star Wars figures, right? We're not getting that going on. But what we do have is uh, a, a decent sculpt. I mean, honestly, I, I like him. Uh, are they limited articulation? Yeah, they are. They are super limited articulation. Um, is that bothering me? No, I've got other ones, you know? And I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I can't wait for those NECA, uh, the new NECA Ninja Turtles. I, I, I really do need to pick up some of those. So uh, I will probably get a, a few of those and, and, and review them here. Now, uh, do they match the looks for the cartoon? I don't know. I haven't seen the cartoon yet. I've only seen a couple of ads. Uh, so far, it looks about the same as, like, Mutant Mayhem, sort of, a little bit. I don't want to say it looks exactly the same, because they've definitely made some major changes. Uh, it definitely doesn't look as good as Mutant Mayhem. Uh, I think Mutant Mayhem looked way better than what the cartoon they're putting out looked like. But the cartoon may have some good character to it, and that's, that's the thing that matters the most in a show. All right, so moving on to Mikey. <laughs> Mikey. Okay, so I like the sculpt. Uh, again, same problems as the other, you know, figures. I, I don't like the way that the head does that. Uh, the bandana doesn't, you know, swivel or anything like that. Uh, I don't really understand why there are these on the uh, the shell. Why why is why does it have air spaces? What the heck is that for? Is that something that's going to come later? I don't know. Um, Mikey's 
I don't, their, their new look with all these weird little like doodads and stuff and little metal pieces for shielding. Uh, I don't know. Again, got to watch the cartoon. If I like the cartoon, then maybe I'll uh, be a little bit more, you know, uh, friendly to the new look. It's not a bad look. Uh, and Mikey is, you know, Mikey is Mikey. I mean, you can definitely feel Mikey here, <laughs> right? <laughs> He's got his nunchucks and all of that stuff. Again, uh, the, the biggest disappointment is the lack of articulation because um, these could be really good. But it's funny because, like, you can, I'll put them on. you can do some okay posing with him. Uh, you know what? And I'm, you know, we're going to do that now. We're going we're gonna to take a few photos of these guys all posed out. Okay? Let's do that now. All right. Okay, and we're back. All right, so, I mean, listen, these are not, you know, $40 figures a piece. They're $10 figures a piece. They're really cool looking. I mean, they did a very nice job on the skull. If there is one thing that Playmates does well, it's it put life and character into their skulls. They always have. Uh, right down to back when the old Ninja Turtles were, you know, on the shelves. I mean, there was some serious character in these figures. Uh, there's a reason why there's like 300 some odd Ninja Turtles in the original line. <laughs> you know, like it kept going. They had cool designs. I mean, I I was too old, really. I was like in high school. I mean, I guess I wasn't too old. And honestly, nowadays I'd be telling a high school kid, keep collecting, kid, keep everything nice, <laughs> right? But uh, yeah, I, I just I just darted up the stairs. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I I just I wasn't I wasn't collecting them, and I wish I had been because you know that whole I mean every time I'd go to the toys toy aisle, you know, like I said, like I, I didn't collect, but I used to check out toys all the time, you know, and I'd always like fidget around with a toy if a kid had one, and he's like, yeah, check it out, you know. So like I'm I've never like been out of toys there's just that those years where i you know i thought i was too cool to like toys <laughs> we've all i think a lot of us have been through those phases where we're like i'm too big for toys you know and then you realize oh crud i love toys <laughs> you're never too big for toys right you're not you're never too big for toys these guys are pretty good good i'd like i'm not gonna rave and say that they are the best figures ever i really like the mutant mayhem figures michael and the dark set are some of my favorite ninja turtle figures and i've got a bunch of super seven figures too like the mutant mayhem ones I like them. I'm not sold on like Bebop and Rocksteady on the Mutant Mayhem line. Uh, they're not my favorite characters. I like old school Bebop and Rocksteady, but uh, but the turtles look great. I love them. Um, I guess we'll see what Shredder looks like in the next movie. Hopefully he's awesome. Same thing with Krang. Hopefully they're all cool. <laughs> um, Superfly was fine. He wasn't like my favorite villain ever, but I liked him. I like the figure. The figure is pretty cool. Uh, and the fact that Ice Cube was playing him is even better. You know, like, I mean, come on. That's dope. <laughs> All right. Come here, Mikey. Yeah, dude. Because that's my Mikey, okay? I don't care what he sounds like now. Ha, ah, yeah, brother. <laughs> hey, he sounded a little like Hulk Hogan there for a second. All right, bro. <laughs> Mikey, what does everybody need to do? You need to subscribe and turn on notifications, brother. <laughs> All right, Mikey. All right, I will. I will. I mean, wait, that's my channel. I don't even have to do that. Yeah, but you should. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> All right, what else, Mikey? What else should they do? They should like the video. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, like the video, huh? And uh, you know what? Hey, while you guys are at it, check out the description down below. There's some links. You can check out my gaming uh, page. I, uh, I, I'm now doing a uh, gaming uh, uh, YouTube channel. I, uh, I was trying to do gaming on this channel, but I don't like how some of my gaming sessions kind of clutter up the feed as far as my, my, my reviews and stuff like that. I sort of like keeping them separate. I wish that there was better organizational tools for YouTube, uh, for the creators, but uh, it doesn't seem like there is. So until then, uh, I'm just gonna do it like this. I think it'll work out better. Um, and then that way, you know, I can tinker around with my my gaming channel without breaking my YouTube or my, my toy review you know, channel, which is actually doing okay. Uh, <laughs> it slowed down a little bit, but uh, you know, I know it's gonna pick back up. Yeah. Uh, all right, so thank you guys for checking out this review. Thank you for, you know, supporting me and, uh, hey, hit up my Patreon page or, uh, you know what, uh, check out and sign up for Suno through my, uh, my link down below. And, uh, you and I will both get a bunch of credits. Like Suno works on credits, like every day you get new credits. And so in order to make a bunch of songs, if you follow, you know, my link, I'll get a bunch of extra credits and then I can make some epic stuff for you guys. <laughs> Hopefully you like the music that's already going on in this. If you do hit up my Patreon page and you can download some of it after becoming a member, only a buck a month. <laughs> 
Save the hyperdelics. Save the hyperdelics. <laughs> all right, kids. Thanks for coming by. Again, thank you for checking out the review. I love you all. And uh, remember to play often and play hard. All right, peace.